This is a uh, Lucent Avaya 8434DX with a vacuum fluorescent display. Uh, I have printed my own line card uh, sheets uh, and I just got this up and running today. There's a uh, PBX delete uh, <laughs> digital phone adapter downstairs that uh, converts this to SIP. Normally you'd need a uh, full-blown Avaya PBX in order to run this. Uh, I have a full-blown Avaya PBX, but I don't have it running yet. So right now I'm just using the digital ATA. Uh, this is a digital phone, and I have two lines with two line appearances each. Uh, and we're going to use the collector's network. 7620116 Up until 1970, if anybody had told me that I would be interested in the phone and that I would spend the better part of my teens and early no. 20s on the phone, Not I would have said, yeah, right. No, I had the no. This uh, this phone number that I just dialed is on the collector's network. It is not on my PBX, so uh, the number I dialed uh, is uh, blue boxable. Um, you can only blue box into other stuff in the collector's network through it, um, but it also plays some of Evan Doorbell's recordings. In 1969 and 70, things were changing. It was becoming more and more acceptable not to be stiff. Formal and uptight. It like everybody uh, these two lines that are flashing red are FXL lines. I can actually plug those into uh, analog telephone lines, like uh, like from the phone company or whatever. Um, and then they'll stop flashing red. That's telling me that they're disconnected. Uh, and then I can actually just dial outbound on analog phone lines through this phone without needing to go through my asterisk PBX. In Long Island, where I live, a nearby private school had recently relaxed its dress code, no longer requiring male students to wear ties. Yeah. And so anyway, so that is the uh, Lucent Avaya 8434 Delta X-Ray um, digital phone. This was usually installed and used, or installed for uh, and used by receptionist there we go uh, there's a menu system uh, it's a little bit wonky because the the digital ATA I'm using is not fit it's not made by Avaya I don't even really know what all of this stuff does uh, there's a big test button press and hold that and it blinks all the lights lots and lots of stuff um, one of this this key I think is my voicemail password yep it just dials Star 97, which goes to my voicemail. I don't remember what this one does. <phone rings> Nothing. There's a drop button, transfer. You can do everything. You can do all kinds of stuff with this phone. It's very nice. Uh, and it's a nice, it, the, it's big. It's got this beautiful display. Uh, it does suffer from burn in, so I'm going to probably change that too instead of showing the time to show nothing when I'm not using it. Okay, that's it. Uh, one more thing before I uh, close out the video. Uh, I forgot to show you what this sounds like when it's ringing. I've got it on uh, one of the iconic rings that I'm sure you'll recognize. So I'm going to use this phone over here and call it. It's going to be 17270201. There you go. Oh, you can see my caller ID. And I can answer. Uh, let's do this. I'll hit uh, speaker. All right, check one. Uh, oh, right, volume's all the way down. No, it's not, interesting. One, two. It's probably, oh, maybe the speaker's not working. Interesting. Well, I'll have to fix that. It was working before. Uh, it has a lot of uh, echo cancel, so that could be the problem. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.